Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs and today I will be covering question 13 in our series about managerial accounting. So this question reads, Coed Novelties manufactures key chains for college bookstores. During 2003, the company has the following costs. And it gives us sort of direct materials used, direct labor, factory rent, equipment depreciation on factory and office, marketing expenses, is and administration expenses. Then it tells us 35,000 units were produced. What is the product cost per unit? So this question has an overarching theme that's extremely important to understand if you want to move forward in business. It's extremely important to know how to separate out your product costs from your office costs. Uh, we sometimes call them product costs and period costs. Um, we have other, there's a lot of terminology for it. Different professors use different terms. But the most important thing to realize is that our product costs have certain things that we include, like direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. And there are certain things that we don't include, like we don't include marketing or office costs. So it wouldn't make sense. Uh, if you're a financial ac accountant doing the books for a company, why would we include that cost uh, for making a chair? It doesn't make any sense to cost that for the chair. It has nothing to do uh, directly or indirectly with the production of the chair. It has to do with the administration of the business. So we have to separate out these costs. So it's important to understand what costs we include and what costs we don't include when making a product and costing a product. So the only costs that matter are our direct materials, our direct labor, and our factory overhead that is allocated to the product. So I want you to always remember that. There's direct labor, direct materials, factory overhead. That is so important. Sometimes it's called manufacturing overhead, but those are always the costs we include in a product. Things like the depreciation of an office or depreciation of office equipment, not included in the product cost. It has to do with our net income at, for the company, but has nothing to do with the product cost. Marketing expenses, nothing to do with the product cost. It has to do with the net income of the business. It has to do with how much money the business is going to make. Nothing to do with the product cost. It wouldn't be fair to cost a product based off its marketing expenses. Also, administrative expenses, nothing to do with the product cost. HR expenses, accounting expenses, like financial accounting expenses, it has nothing to do. So why would we include it? Just think, if you think big picture, like you're actually running the company, what would you want to include in the cost? Like how much labor went into making the product, how much materials went into making the product, and uh, any direct overhead or indirect overhead that can be traced to it. So that would be include like the factory rent. Yeah, if it, you have to rent a factory to make your product, you want to include that in the product cost. Or the depreciation of equipment. Like if you have a big piece of equipment that's making the chairs for you or making your shirts, you want to include that in the product cost so you know exactly how much that product is costing you in the long run. If you spend a million dollars on a piece of equipment, you don't want to just not include that. You have to include that in the product cost over the life of the equipment. Uh, and it can be determined in many ways, which we'll discover, we'll discover and discuss later. But uh, you need to include that or else you're going to understate your product cost, which is then going to lead to you losing money in the long run. You need to know how much your products cost if you want to make profit and if you want to price your products competitively in the marketplace. If you don't price them competitively or you underprice them, you're going to go out of business. So very important stuff. So if we add all this stuff up, direct materials, our direct labor, our factory rent, and our equipment depreciation on factory, uh, we get $63,000. Then we know that we made 35,000 units in 2003. Uh, a long time ago. Oof. So $63,000 divided by our amount of units made gives you $1.80 per unit. So we know that it costs us $1.80 per unit to produce the product. That's so useful because then we can figure out how much we should price this product for in order to make our profit, uh, in order to be a good business, in order to stay in business. It's just very, very, very useful information. It's so important to get to this number. So. Our answer will be B, the dollar eighty is our product cost per unit. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, please also write on my Twitter if you have any questions. Please subscribe to this channel if you find it interesting, as I will always be sharing more videos regarding business, accounting, uh, any of this kind of theory, maybe cost-saving tips for college. So feel free to write me, and I hope this helps, and have a wonderful day.